When these sides met earlier in the season, Ulster beat Connacht 25 0 at Ravenhill. And Connacht coach Eric Elwood had revenge on his mind going into this game. His team had won their four home games in all competitions so far this year. At the top of the table, Ulster would prove a tough nut to crack. Connacht, with an unchanged starting 15 from the previous week, started brilliantly on a lovely evening for rugby in Galway. After patient build-up, they got the ball wide out to big number eight, George Neopu, and the man from Christchurch charged over the line for the opening score of the match. Dan Parks failed with the conversion, but Connacht were 5-0 up inside the first five minutes. Ulster were obviously stung by that early setback, and within four minutes they were back on level terms. The informed centre, Stuart Olding, scored a try against Dragons the previous week and was on the mark with another in the ninth minute of this one after a really well-worked opening. Ruin Pienaar converted and Ulster were 7-5 ahead. A couple of minutes later, Ulster stamped their class on the occasion and Ruin Pienaar in particular. Just watch out for the most exquisite offload to Andrew Trimble to allow the winger run through for try number two for the Ulster men. The Irish international wasn't going to be stopped from that range, but what about Pienaar's pass? Absolute brilliance. His conversion attempt wasn't quite as brilliant off target, but Ulster led 12-5. Some teams might have crumbled at this point, but Connacht's response to the concession of those two early tries was to run over a second of their own. Betu Vainicola did superbly well to hold off the attentions of the Ulster defenders before getting the ball down over the line. Park slotted the conversion over to make it 12 all with 17 minutes gone. The Connacht out half went on to add another penalty and Pienaar replied for Ulster to make it 15 all. And then just past the half hour mark, Ulster went back in front once again. Unlike the earlier tries for Mark Anscombe's side, this had less to do with flair, skill and speed and a lot more to do with grunt and sheer power, as demonstrated by Rory Best. The 67 times capped hooker for Ireland showing all his experience to just squeeze over for an important score for his side. When Pienaar converted, it was 22-10 for the visitors and that's how it stayed until half-time. After a try-fest in the first period, things calmed down a bit in the second. In the 49th minute, sub Mia Nakora on for Parks edged Connacht closer to Ulster. He made it 18-22. However, the Ulster men struck with cruel efficiency for two tries in a four-minute period inside the last ten minutes. Subby and Henderson can take most of the plaudits for this one. A great offload to Tommy Bow, who was clear for the line. Bow becoming the first man to score 50 league tries. It also ensured a bonus point victory and Ulster's place in the playoffs. After Pienaar converted, it was 29-18. Further gloss was put on the scoreline five minutes from time when Jared Payne, back in the side after injury, sprinted clear from a tired-looking Connacht defence to seal the win in emphatic fashion for the visitors. A game of great tries rounded off with another excellent effort from Ulster. Pienaar missed the conversion, but it didn't matter. Ulster had won and in good style. They can look forward to the playoffs with confidence. Connacht still have two matches to play and the target of seventh in the table is still a possibility. But at the sports ground, it finished in this one, Connacht 18, Ulster 34.